I have hand weights on one shelf. I have my water bottle on the other shelf. Here is my chair. We start by sitting down. Sit far enough forward on your chair so your feet are flat, your toes are pointing straight ahead, arms are by your side. I know I start with a shoulder roll almost every class. It's just a great way. Open up the chest. We often lean forward, slouch a little bit. This opens up your chest. Here are your inhales. These start bringing breath in all the way through your lungs. Exhale, blow it out. Another big inhale. And yes, often when you take these big inhales, you'll yawn a couple times sometimes. That's just getting oxygen flowing all the way through to your brain. Let's do one more for good measure here. There's your up. Hands are going right on your lap. Sit up tall, turn your head to the right, stretch your neck, turn your head to the left, little neck stretch, look straight ahead, drop the chin down, lift the chin up, look straight ahead, look to the left, over your left shoulder, look to the right, Look to the front, lift the chin to the ceiling. Drop the chin to the chest. Look straight ahead, drop your arms down, take a little shoulder roll. From the shoulder roll, shoulder shrug, you slide your shoulder blades up your back, squeeze them together, palms front, squeeze the shoulder blades, slide them down your back. Slide up, squeeze together. Slide down again. Slide up. Squeeze together. Slide down one more time. Slide up. Squeeze. Release. Right there, one more shoulder roll. Take your arms out to the side. We're going to go into little arm circles. Circle it around in one direction. Circle back. Now we circle to the front. Here's the other direction. Little coordination, we're going to take our palms up and you're going to circle one arm back and one. <laughs> Let me think about that. They're going in opposite directions. So there is your circle, circle. And then we have to switch it. There's the other side. See if I can get my brain working, arm circling. Stop the arms, bring the fingertips to the shoulders. Elbow circles up and around, up and around. We go to the back, circle to the back to open up your chest. Stop the arms, take the hands outside your right thigh, sit up tall, gentle twist. Off to the left, there's your twist. Bring it to the front, hands are on your lap. Cow cat, lift the chest, inhale. Drop the chin to the chest, round to your spine, exhale. Do that a few more times. It's your up. It's your round. Do that one more. Lift up, round through the spine. Open your arms to the side, lift your chest, big inhale. Hug a big bowl as you exhale. Do that again. Open, inhale. Hug as you exhale. One more time. Lift your chest. Hug a bowl. Now we open our chest. Drop your thumbs down and back. Reach to the back of your chair. Bigger stretch, lift. Look. Look straight ahead, arms to the side. Hug a big bowl. Sweep your hands up, here comes your arms, palms front, sweep down, flex the wrist, switch, flip, up and down. There's your slide down. Inhale as you slide up. Exhale, slide down. A couple more times, there's your up. And you're down, let's do that one more time. Right here, let's cross our arms right in front of your chest, a little bit of core. Sit up tall, add the lean to the front. Here's the lean back, only as far as you can keep your core engaged. Lean to the front. 
I'm going to add on here. Lean back, arms can come to the front as long as that feels okay for you. Remember, it's in the core. Now lift your arms up. We're gonna lean off to the right, or yeah, right. Heel up, leg up, set it down, go to the other side. Here is lean, heel, leg. Bring it to center, cross your arms. Little lean to the front. Arms front, lean to the back. Right there is your core. Arms up. Here's a lean to the left. Start to the left. Lift the heel if you want. Lift the leg if you want. Balance. Here comes the other side. First lean. And then it's the heel. The leg, foot down, cross your arms one more time. Lean to the front. Lean to the back, arms can come up. Maybe you wanna take them up a little more challenging. Open the arms to the side. Bring your hands to your thighs. Add a lean forward. Give yourself a stretch here, big or small. Now reach, reach, reach through the top of your head. Bring yourself up, feet can go a little wider, take some circles around. Loosen up. Now, if you used your back, which hopefully you didn't, we wanted to use a core. This is your chance. Relax the back a little bit, move it around. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. One more circle around. And now we will bring attention to our ankle. Lift the leg enough to add your ankle circles in one direction. Ankle circles in the other direction. Foot goes down. Here's the other side. Ankle circles. Other direction. Try to relax the foot. Gentle little circles. Set the foot down, hug the right leg. Now you might choose to go a little or a big hug. Switch sides, little or big hug. We'll do this one more time on each side. Knee hugs in, set it down, knee hugs in. Let's go right into our hip circles, meaning we circle our leg out, we slide it in. Circle and slide, just a great chance to get that movement through the hip joint. And if this isn't appropriate for you, you can keep it small. You can do a different movement. One more time. Now you slide out, circle in, slide and circle, slide and circle, slide out, circle in. Slide out, circle in. One more time on each side. Keep your feet flat here. We're going to stretch our fingers. Lift your toes. Take a little peek. You want to make sure your knees are front. Thighs are going forward. There's your heels and your heel fist. Stretch your fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. Do that a few more times. Stretch your fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. One more time. Feet can stay flat. Add your wrist circles in one direction. Wrist circles in the other direction. We are going to go into strengthening our thighs. We're gonna start with a little leg strengthener. Make sure you're far enough forward on your chair. We're gonna take Start with knee lift. You're going to lift the knee and tap it down. Now, if you don't want to lift up high, keep it a little smaller. If you want to lift higher, go for it. The whole idea here, though, we have to keep our torso tall. So when you lift the knee, I want you to think thigh. If you're leaning back each time, that's kind of a cheap move. So you want to really think, keep yourself upright. You don't have to lift it high. You can keep it as big or small as you want. Three more times on this side, you should feel the front of your thigh working. 
two more times here. One more. Relax this side. And if you felt some good work, tapping it out usually feels good. Here comes the other side. Maybe you start small. Get a feel for the movement. Each side is going to feel different. We still want to sit up tall. So another thing we might be doing is leaning over, right? We want to stay up nice and tall. And then how high you lift the leg, that is going to depend on your, your hip. There is that lift. Remember, we're keeping this body up tall. That means you have to use your core. Two more. One more time here. And then tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. I'm going to do the same thing with the leg straight. Now your choice, you can keep the leg bent. We lift the leg. We bring it down. Again, I'm focused on working the quadricep, front of the thigh. This, we want to keep strong to protect our knee joint. If you don't like the straight leg version, you would do this with your knee like we just did. Four more on this side. Four. Three. Two. Now you relax this leg. And again, if you felt some burning, tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. Other side, bent leg or straight leg as you lift and lower. Lift and lower. Same idea with the body. If the leg is bent or straight, we want to stay upright. We are letting the thigh do the work. Three more here. Three. Two. Finish this one. Again, if you want to tap it out, tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. We are going to do heel drags, meaning you're going to have your legs out to the front. You're going to pull your heels towards your chair and then go back up. So now it's all about the hamstrings. And we don't want to, it's not about going down. It's about dragging back. You should feel the back of your thighs working. Another way to think of this is if you're trying to move your chair forward by digging your heels in and then pulling, pulling, pulling. We'll do a few more. We want to work the back of the legs to even out the strength in the front. We want to also be strong in the back of the thighs. We're going to do one more. And then when you finish that one, take a little march. Just march. There is the heel lift version. Add some bicep curls. Open and close the elbows. Take this into overhead presses. Arms go up and over. Feel the extension. Remember, you can go a little in front of you if that feels better for your arms. Next move is side raises. Take Take your arms to the side, lift to the side. Now we take the arms to the front. There's your front raise. Bring it back to bicep curls. Take your feet out in front of you. Heels are up, keep the legs straight. It's your reach and pull, push your feet down, pull back. A little bit more upper body together. Ankles, shins, chest, back. There's four, three, two, Finish this one. You can set your arms down. Bring your legs in. We are going to do some chair squats. Now on Tuesday, I did the chair squat to standing. I'm going to do that again today. If you do not want to add the standing part, you can skip it. With that said, if you want to grab a sip of water before we start, if it's under your chair, grab your sip of water. 
Here comes your squat. So your choice, keep pushing down into the floor if you want. I am going to push and bring myself up and then bring myself back down. Two more of these, push. Now right here, try to control yourself down. Maybe a little tap. And then one more time, there's your up. If you're holding your squat low, you can still relax your legs. We'll all stay seated. Take your hands to the outside of your thighs. Here comes the resist, chest, outer hip. Resist, resist, resist. Keep resisting for four, three, two. Relax it there. We'll all come up to standing. Start with your march. And I like to use a march, little shake of the legs. Give yourself the space you need. Add your march, march, march. We stand up tall. Now today, my space is a little smaller than when I'm in the other house. It's going to be your step touch side to side. Little step touch. So stay behind the chair if you like to use a chair for balance. This way you can see my legs a little clearer. I am going to add this step up and over. Feel free to hold on to your chair. I'm gonna add a little push. And now this is balance. And we have to remember, however high you step with the first leg, the second leg goes over. It's a step over, step over. Step over, step over. Over and over. Now here's your last one. Stay here, you can take a little march, march it out. We're going into our rocking boat. So if you want to have your chair to hold on to when you do this, it's where we lift the right leg. There's your knee lift. Shift the weight forward. Squeeze it back. Knee comes up. Heel comes up. Now I'm making my movement heat bigger. Feel free to keep it smaller. There's your lift and lift. So this is strengthening our legs as we rock back and forth. Is balance, we're on one leg at a time. I am taking a pace where you have to get your balance to lift and then you shift. And remember, if you would prefer to keep it smaller, go for it. Another little thing I like to add, we did leg strengtheners before we stood up. If your legs are a little tired, it changes how well you balance as well. We're gonna switch sides. What we do on one side, we have to do on the other. It's a knee lift, and then again, feel free to hold on to something if you want for balance. There's the lift, and lift. We rock back, you rock to the front. Here's your rock and rock. And whenever we're standing on one leg, if you lift the leg all the way up or not, it takes core strength. So part of balancing well is being aware of using your core for stability. Let's do one more. And then we add in some leg swings. We did a lot of work that uses our hip flexors. So you can add a little swing of your leg forward and back. This is, think of it as a stretch. It's a chance to release, swing the leg, relax that side, take it to the other side. There's your leg swing, leg swing. We are gonna come into our balance and hold, meaning our knee lift, wherever you like to take your knee lift. And I mentioned that because if you have a place uh, like tiling or a hard floor, it's generally easier to balance than if you're on carpeting or something softer. Here it comes. Chair here if you want it. Knee left. We hold it. Total 15 seconds is how long I have you hold these. It's a good gauge to see how your balance is each day. Set the foot down. We switch to the other side. The other thing is every day balance is a little different. I have good days. I have bad days. Um, but by doing it for 15 seconds, you can tell, are you getting better? 
And for most of us, if we are maintaining, we are getting better. Just keep that in mind. We're going to start setting this foot down. Now take the heel behind you. Remember your options. You could keep the toes down or you could lift up, stay up nice and tall. There's the hold. Five, four, three, two. Foot goes down. Here comes the other side. Hold. Hang in there a little bit longer. Five, four, three, two. Set the foot down, side lunges. I am going to stand behind my chair for side lunges. Feet go whatever distance feels good. Slide to one side, slide to the other side. Think a little press back of your hips, a little strengthening of your legs, stretching in the inner thighs, sliding to one side, sliding to the other side. Here's your slide and slide. Four, three, two. Bring yourself to this side. Right, taking a couple of our plies, we're going to go down. I am going to have you inhale your arms up now remember if you want to use your chair keep one hand down as you slide down go for it you might switch each time we'll do two more there's one here's two bring yourself up now right here go down just low enough where you can find your balance we're going to do our heel lifts from this position today. Lift the right heel. Check it out. See how it feels. See how the lift of the right heel feels. Set the heel down. Here comes the other side. Pause. Hold it up. Check it out. See how it feels. Set the foot down. Can you lift both your heels? I usually start small, and then maybe they can come up a little higher. Maybe I can keep my Hands away from the chair. Little sink of the hips down if you want more. For five, four, three, two. Heels down, all the way up. Toes face the front, give yourself a nice stretch here. Push your hips back. Give yourself a stretch down the back of the legs. Take a big breath, exhale. Start bringing yourself all the way up. And we're going to do our tightrope today. If you have space, we're going to tightrope walk around our chair. So chair is here if you want to hold on to it. Otherwise, you're going to take your heel toe around the chair. And the goal is to keep your chin level as you walk around. We're gonna go around the chair twice. And if you don't wanna go around the chair, feel free to do your tightrope walk forward back if that feels better. I like to change it up, have you go in different versions. Now, if you're going faster than me, we will all march next to the chair when we get there. I'm still making my way around. I don't want you to feel rushed. We can all meet marching when you're ready. If you're already there, stay there. I just made it, but if you're still going around your chair, then keep going. We'll march here for about 10 more seconds, give you some time. Keep standing up tall. There's your march, march, march. Start stopping your feet. Take your feet 
a little wider, hip width a little bit more. We're doing baby squats. I'm gonna have you press your hips back and then bring them back up. Take a little press of the hips back and bring it up. Now this is a hinge. And I'm mentioning that because I don't want you to bend. Bending uses your low back, all your low back. A hinge uses your hips and your core. So you, each time you go down and up, hopefully you can feel your core working. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make this movement a little bit bigger. So when you come up, sweep your arms all the way up, inhale. And now you're gonna sweep it all down. It's an up as you inhale and sweep down. It's a full body movement, big inhale up and release down. And take it whatever pace feels good for you. Two more of these, big or small, you know what works for you. Stay tall when you finish this one, bring yourself up. And we go right into our hip circles. Circle your hips around in one direction. Circle your hips around in the other direction. We're gonna drop our arms down. You can stop your hips and just add little, I call these arm swings. It's your chance to loosen up your upper back a little. Just a little swing side to side. Now I'm not moving my hips. My hips are staying to the front and the swing is for your upper back. Take a couple more. And then when you finish this one, we're going to get ready, take a seat. We will be using our hand weights. You're gonna see I'm gonna grab a sip of water real quick before we sit down. And I'm gonna grab my hand weights. As soon as we sit down, we're gonna start with our rows. One weight in each hand when we start for the rows. We also keep ourselves a little bit further forward on the chair. Arms are by your side, there's your hinge, and here we are. Full release. There's your up and down. So squeeze up, release down. Squeeze up. I am doing a higher number set of reps. Often I tuck in 20. We are going to get used to doing a little higher number of reps now and then. Changing it up works our muscles a little differently. 10 to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, we sit up tall, add some bicep curls. We curl up, we slow it down. Curl up, slow it down. Up and down, up and down. We'll do a total 20 here. So a little higher number of biceps as well today. Halfway. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two. Finish that one. Palms turn back. Here's your little tricep press back. Also catches your upper back, the back of your shoulders. Remember, little engagement through the core. There's your press, release. 
little back, release, push, release. Now this one, you are going to hold this one up and add a little pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax your arms, add your hinge forward. Now for your roll, you're gonna push one down, pull it up, push and pull. It's a push and pull, push and pull. Push down, pull up, push down, pull up. Still working the back here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring yourself up. Overhead presses. Again, my palms face front. Feel free to take yours face in. We'll do 10 total. Remember to breathe. If this is an exercise, you hold your breath. Exhale with the effort. Here's five, four, Three, two, arms come down, take it into a shoulder shrug because we're holding weights. Shoulder blades go straight up, shoulder blades go straight down. Lift up, slide down. It's not just your shoulders to your ears, connect the back of your shoulder blades up and then into your back pocket. Slide up, slide down, five, four, three, two, side raises our necks. I like a bend in my elbow and then the arms lift to the side. You bring it down. Weights going away from our body are, is also a good chance Core work as you lift and bring it down. Lift and control it down. Up and down. Five, four, three, two, one more time. And then you can go ahead, carefully set your weights down underneath your chair, off to the side, wherever it works. Grab one more sip of water. We are gonna do just a little shoulder work and then we'll start stretching everything out. We're gonna start. Feet flat, far enough forward on your chair. We're gonna take our little hinge forward with our Y. Elbows pull back to a W. We'll do that again two more times. Reach for your Y, pull with your W. Adding on, reach, here's W, make a T, tap the side walls, tap the back of your chair in an I. T, W, Y. Here comes your W, it's a T. Now we're just gonna go T, I, T, return to I. So we're gonna go just to the side and back, open up a little bit more here. Two more of these, side, straight back, side, straight back. Here's your side, make a W, bend the elbows, reach for your Y. Let's bring our hands behind our head, Sit up nice and tall, lengthen, open the chest, slide your fingers to your shoulders, elbow circles back. We'll start stretching everything out here. Little relax for your shoulders. Right here, open your arms to the side. 
Give yourself a big hug right on the bottom. We open right back up, left arm on the bottom for your hug. Arms open, right arm comes across, just the right arm. There's your stretch, tricep shoulder. Left arm is coming across. We'll do that one more time on each side. Right arm comes across, option, hold the shoulder, add a little more. Little twist if you want it, makes it bigger. Relax, here's the other side, left arm comes across. You can stay here. You can take the hand to the shoulder, lift the elbow, add a twist. These are all options. Bring it back to the front, drop your arms down, slide the right leg forward, hamstring stretch. Feel free to reach down further if you like to reach down further. Drop the bottom of the foot down. Bring yourself up, switch sides, left leg goes out, hamstring stretch. Drop the bottom of the foot down. Both your feet are going to go out. So make sure you're far enough on your chair. And there's your little double leg, little lean forward, wherever it works for you. Upper body comes in. If it works for you, you're going to cross your legs. I'm going to cross my legs up a little bit higher, which is okay for me, my hips. Right here, try to get a stretch down the outside of the leg. Set up tall, add your twist. Bring yourself to the front. Legs slide out. And here's the other cross. Low, medium, high. There's your twist. Bring yourself to the front. Stretching out the quadricep. We did all those leg lifts earlier. Here's your chance to stretch the front of the thigh. Double check, front foot down. Fingertips can reach up. And you'll notice when you lift that arm, it should make increase the stretch for your quadricep and your hip. Arm comes down, slide the leg in, take it to the other side. I'm going off the front of my chair. You might prefer taking it off the side of the chair. Fingertips go up once you're there. Drop the arm down, bring the leg in. Take it back to the front. Keep your feet flat. Take your right arm behind the back. Drop the left arm. Drop the left ear. I like to take a big exhale. Let the neck relax. The chest open. Lift your head. Relax the right arm. Left arm slides behind. Right ear drops down and there's that big exhale so you can relax through your neck lift the head take your hands to the back of your chair open up the chest let the chin touch the ceiling Look straight ahead, add a nice lean forward. I'm gonna come down to my forearms. Open your legs up a little bit wider. Slide the right leg out. Start stretching your leg a little bit more. Sweep the right arm up and over. Side stretch. Here we flip it, take it back. Stretch in the opposite direction. Now return, forearm to your thigh, let the back arm come up and over. Open your chest to the ceiling. Bring the arm down, slide the leg in, you're on your forearms. Slide the left leg out. Once it's there, take the arm, open it up. 
Now sweep it all back, stretch in the opposite direction. And now we switch, take it up and through. Can you open your chest to the ceiling? And then bring the arm down. Give yourself a nice forward stretch wherever that feels good. I like to stay higher. That is just what is better for me. That doesn't mean you do. Bring yourself all the way up. Bring your legs in. Stretch out your fingers. Then bring all your fingers together. I'm going to go this way. Wrist stay straight. You move just the big knuckles. Fingertips tap the ceiling. Here's that bend the knuckles. Wrist stay straight. One more time. Here's that bend. And go straight. This time make a claw. Wrap the claw down into a fist. And your thumb reaches for the pinky so you can stretch out your thumb type it. Fingertips go all the way up. It's a claw, it's a fist, and then the thumb reaches. We'll do that one more time. Stretch up, make a claw, make a fist, stretch the thumb. Press your palms together, lift the elbows. Take your hands out to the front. Stretch out each finger one at a time. Also a chance to stretch out your wrist. We stretch out every finger. Make sure you get each finger a little stretch. And then you're gonna take your palms down and rotate, tap your shoulders. Little movement for your elbow joint. It's a rotation, arms out. Tap, so palms down, and you have this rotation for your elbow joint for four, three, two. Bring your hands right to your lap. It's your cow cat here. Lift your chest, shoulders relax, round through your spine. Two more of these. Lift up, inhale. Round. Let's do that one more time. Big inhales with your arms. Arms drop to the side. Take your inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Blow it out. Two more. Reach up. Big inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. One more time. It's your inhale. And your exhale. Thank you all very much.